bouquet of Christmas my true love gave to me. Five Stanley Cups, four calling moose, three beaver tails, two caribou, and a porcupine in a pine tree. It's good to see you. It is day five. Day five means the Stanley Cup. Here's the picture from the book. You can see the Stanley Cups piled up. Wouldn't it be wonderful if there were five Stanley Cups? Maybe the Leafs would get one. But anyways, leave that aside. It was fun doing them, except for one thing. I was really worried about getting the Stanley Cup right. So what I did was I checked the Stanley Cup, got myself good reference. It's always great to have a good reference piece. And I thought what I would show you, not only well, drawing the Stanley Cup would be one thing, but you can see that the Stanley Cup is tipping one way and the other. So I thought I'd show you how to make a tip. Now here's some little drawings I'm going to show you. And what I did was I started off by drawing the Stanley Cup in the middle. So what we'll do is we'll, and we'll do a little box because it's important to see how tall it is. So there's the box and we'll do it from the side. So here's one side of it, draw a line down the middle so we get both sides the same and what we'll do is we'll divide it up. All you hockey fans out there will make sure that I get this right because I don't want to make a mistake. So what we'll do is we'll draw the Stanley Cup. So now that's from the side which is great but then if we want to tip it one way or the other, the trick is to use that squish circle that we talked about right in the beginning. Because where we talked about drawing a circle, squish circle, in fact we'll do it right here. We start with a circle and we start squishing it and squishing it and squishing it and squishing it until it's a straight line. Well, we can also do that if we take a circle like this and squish it from the top and the bottom and we turn it into a straight line like that. Because what we're going to do is we're going to start with the straight line and what we're going to do is we're going to unsquish it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a straight line and we're going to unsquish it until it becomes a circle. And we're not going to take it that far. What we're going to do for this one is this. We'll take this same size. We'll draw it down. But this time what we're going to do is we we'll take that line and we're going to unsquish it just a little bit. We'll draw it like that. And we'll make the front part just a little darker because darker lines attract the eye. We'll take this one right here and we'll unsquish it and we'll make the front part darker. And then what we'll do is we'll take the same one here, we'll unsquish it, even that one, we'll unsquish it, take this one, unsquish it, and even this and the top part, we'll unsquish it, making sure we get it the same width. So now if we connect all these, We'll start, start seeing that we make it look like it's starting to tip forward. In fact, what we can do is we can take the same curve, now that we know the curve, and go one, two, three, four, whoops, a little bit squished, but you can see it's starting to lean forward. Let's just do this a little bit like this. In fact, what we can do is now we can do another one right here. I just got to make sure I get the right proportions. Which proportion just means how high to how wide. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take this one and we're going to unsquish it a lot more. And we'll take the top one and we'll unsquish it a lot more like that. And so if we've got this, we make this bottom part darker. And in fact, if we just widen it a little bit like this, it makes it even look like it's coming closer. We'll unsquish this part a bit more like this. The one above it, we'll unsquish it. Unsquish that one. You can unsquish that one. And so now if we start connecting them, bring that down bring this down. I'm rushing this, I know that, but we'll bring this down a little bit more and then we'll unsquish this one a lot more. And you can see how our Stanley Cup's starting to look like a garbage cup. I'm sorry. 
their Stanley Cup. And so what's going to happen is if we do the same lines here and there, and in fact, if you make them a little darker right in the middle here, it always looks like they're coming closer to you because dark lines, like I said, attract the eye. So you can see how that's coming. And if we were going to take it backwards and tip it away from us, what we do is, again, we can just do the same thing. We unsquish it. We'll take the line over here, try to get the same size. And this is really good because you can just take the lines right across. And then what we'll do is, hope you, hope you can see this on the video. Oops. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do this. We're going to unsquish it, but we're going to take this line darker. And we're going to unsquish this one. And make that one higher. And what we can do is on each one of these, we make them smaller. Oops, I'm going to make the right. Get the same curve that we had from that unsquished circle. We curve the top part like this. And now we've got the Stanley Cup tilting away from us. So you see how this one's straight, coming closer, tipping more. And then if we went the other way, that one, if we unsquished this circle even more, and took the same curve upwards and we, whoops, we should do a middle line here so we get it right and we unsquish this one the same curve you see how we're getting the Stanley Cup leaning away from us and this is what I did for the book because when the Stanley Cup is flying through the air. You can see back here, I've got unsquished circles. This one's almost straight, but each one's unsquished a little bit more, and that way we look like we're looking up at them. And that is why squishing and unsquishing a circle is a really valuable thing. So there we are, five Stanley Cups for the 12 days of drawing. Check the blog. Oh, and before I, I go away, I want to say that I want to invite everybody to send in their a scan of their drawing. And at the end, I'm going to have a little contest. And next week, or tomorrow, excuse me, tomorrow I'm going to announce what the prize will be. I think it'll be either a little drawing or a little painting. So we'll post the address, and I look forward to seeing your drawings. See you tomorrow. Bye.